Hey everyone, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone battery draining after iOS 18 update. So let's get started. Now you're going to follow all of these troubleshooting steps to improve the battery and prevent it from draining out fast. First thing I like to do is go ahead and close out all the apps on your phone. So this is important to do, especially when you do a major update. So let's just go ahead and close out all the apps. And you might be wondering why you're doing this. Um, it is because you did a major update. So do that. Now once you do that, go ahead into the App Store itself. So find the App Store. And you're going to want to go ahead and update all of the apps. So in order to do that, click on your profile up here. And then if you go down here, it's going to say Update All. It gives you how many apps that need to be updated. And again, the same reason when you do a major OS upgrade, all of the apps has upgrade to support, be supported on that device to run the way it should. So click on update now and that'll go ahead and update all of the apps. Generally take a few minutes, make sure you're connected to internet or cellular data. Now, after you have done updating all of your apps, the next thing you want to go ahead and follow this process, which is you're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down, then I hold on to the side button just like that. And you're going to wait until the screen goes completely black for the Apple logo to appear before we go back into our phone here. So let's go ahead and see. And once you see the Apple logo, let go of it. And this is known as a force restart, which basically forces the phone to shut down and reload the code, fixing any software related issue, especially when you do a major software update. It's just a really nice thing to do to bring the performance back to optimal and then also optimize the battery performance and once you're back on go ahead and back into your phone and then wait for those apps that were updating to finish updating they're going to update on itself move on to the next step which is finding out which is app may be causing the phone to drain battery fast or quick so go into your setting on your iphone and then go to the battery setting right here and then if you're going to go down a little bit further you're going to see where it says battery usage by app and you're going to locate which of these apps could be the culprit basically that's taking up your battery power. So you can do that sort or percentage, or you can do how long have you been using it. So what I would do is find an app, for example, if you have one like maybe YouTube app, for example, taking up a lot of your battery. And if you know that you don't use that app much, you wanna go ahead and delete that app or remove it. In order to delete it, you can press and hold to remove app when that comes up. And then you can always reinstall it as well. Sometimes that will also help. Now, another area that you want to go ahead and check out in your phone setting is in the main settings, you're going to look for journaling. So let's go ahead and look for the setting here. So we're going to look in here and then go into apps and then look for the J1 journal right here. Journal is a new app on the phone here. You're going to notice that there's a journaling suggestion that may be turned on here. You see the option here. You want to go ahead and turn those settings off. If you have any of these settings turned on like this, and I would recommend turning those off. This one off as well so that they don't interfere with your phones. As you can see, adding those energy can always cause some issues. So I recommend turning it off if you don't use journaling at all as a way to prevent the battery drain as well. Now along with that is the next thing you want to go ahead and check out is searching in the app. You can turn these settings off as well as they can interfere with the battery as well. And if you don't want, you can always turn them back on in the future when your battery improves. Now moving on to the next thing in the settings you want to go ahead and check out from the main settings here. You're going to go to privacy and security. And then from privacy and security, you're going to go to app report privacy you want to make sure this is turned off here i have it turned off already so i don't have to do it but if you have this setting turned on you want to turn that off as that can interfere with the battery as well along with that next thing you want to also do is go into the privacy and security under tracking here you want to turn this setting off if you have this one on allowing apps to request to track because when apps start to track you they can actually use up a lot of your battery so you want to disable that setting as well now along with that, in the privacy, again, privacy and security setting, under location services, you wanna go, if you have this location services on, 
keep, you can keep it on, but a couple of things you want to check out under system services that are going to be draining your battery really quick. You want to follow these and you basically, uh, basically go ahead and turn that off, which is going to be around product improvement. Things like improved map, I would turn that off. Routing, I would turn that off. iPhone ad analytics, I would turn that off as well. These, again, take up a lot of battery on your phone and they're not really needed. It's just sending reports to Apple and why would you want to do that anyway? So you can turn those settings off as well. And after doing all of this, the next thing you want to check out in your settings is going to be under Apple Intelligent Siri. If you're using Apple Intelligent, you're going to want to go ahead and take all of these and turn these off. The suggestion can basically go ahead and search your phone and that's going to drain out your batteries. I recommend just turning all of these off as that will go ahead and improve your battery life overall. And lastly, in the settings here, you want to go to general. And the big one is background app refresh. If you had this one turned on for some reason, all of these apps will be constantly looking to refresh, which right here even tells you, well, pretty much uh, if you don't have them turned off, it will basically drain your battery much quicker. So usually I like to turn it off. And the reason why it is, is when I open the app, you can refresh it anyways. So you don't need to constantly have a run in the background for it to go ahead and drain out your battery. And then another setting you want to do in your settings it's going to be around display and brightness. It's going to be if you have all these on display, I recommend is turning this off. Sometimes this again takes up much battery than it needs to. Uh, it can save your battery if you have it off. Even it says right here. And if you always want to keep it on, you could. But again, it's a suggestion I would recommend. And then lastly, if you have done all of this and you recently updated to iOS 18 in the settings, general software update, you should see iOS 18.1. I would recommend updating to a new software version if there is a release sometimes a previous one might have caused issues so it's always good to update your phone to the latest version and i hope by following all these steps your phone battery is no longer draining as quick as it used to on ios 18 and if this video is helpful so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices we'll see you guys next time